welcome back to the Safari Cop 7s 2013, the 18th edition of the, of the Safari 7s at the Mo International Sports Centre Kasarani. It's a great, it's uh, England Royals versus Homeboys. England Royals drew their first game against Harlequins, while Homeboys lost their first game um, uh, to Greno Ball. So it's a must-win game for both sides if they have any hopes of winning or entering the quarterfinals. On the close-up there is Matt Turner, former IRB International Rugby Board rugby player, rugby sevens player, nominee of this of, of, of the year. That was last year. Great to have him in Kenya. The speedster has been very instrumental in England's recent success at the IRB series level, and it's good to actually have him on Kenyan soil. Play. Oh, oh, absolutely! By the way, uh, he's he's one of the players, one of the leading players of the England team. By the way, and uh, he's looking very good. And uh, let's see what his England team can do. And so far, that ball has gone out from the full on kickoff so it will be homeboys who will have an opportunity to strike first at the england uh, royals team by the way and characteristic error there by the england royals stalwart matt turner although james rodwell wants to take issues into his own hands and um, england royals are literally not taking any prisoners standing because they actually seem to have underrated kenya harlequins in the first game and I think after the 12 12 draw, they are keen on ensuring they can post in their first win of the tournament. Absolutely, and uh, I mean, the Royals will be penalized there for not releasing the ball on the tackle. And uh, it's homeboys who are on the attack, by the way. And they need not to self destruct like they did like in their first game. They need to be more sharper because the England Royals are going to punish any mistakes that the homeboys are going to show in this game. And it's, remember, it's a must win game for either side after the England Royals drew their first game against uh, Harlequins. And uh, the homeboys lost to uh, Grenoble uh, 17 nil, so it's a must win game for both sides. I'm not too certain what homeboys' strategy is trying is, uh, is trying to you know muscle the ball in with the England players. They're definitely much more bigger, yeah. much more physically dominant, and um, if they keep on playing that way, they'll keep on losing each and every ball they take into contact. Absolutely, uh, Hilary. They, they need to devise a way of either playing the ball with the hand and using the width of the pitch to tire the England players. But now it's England team who have the ball right now. Um, it's a long, it's a poor pass. Must have underestimated Matt Turner's height. Thought he had grown tall overnight. <laughs> and here's Rob Vickerman. Sandro Boyce, Billy Darling. It's interesting how only the ball in two hands always seems to get the defense thinking and guessing. And yes, Matt Turner scores. Matt Turner scores in the right. Royals. That's all is expected of him. I think he's done that perhaps tons of times. Tons of times, by the way, but uh, the persistence showed them by the England team. Finally, that's a good try, by the way. And Matt Turner with his first try of the day. Do you think the earlier the early pass was to try and shave his hair? I think it was <laughs> hitting up to his, um, to yeah, his, his long yeah, hair. Yeah, I don't think. I think they, they were thinking that the guy was tall, but, uh, well, it didn't work. And now Matt Turner will take the conversion. Matt Turner will take the conversion. It's a poor conversion kick, by the way, but no problem. Uh, it's England Royal Tour in the lead by five points to zero. Homeboys will really have to go on through and get back into the game because they've literally done three or four runs within their own 22. They've not been able to actually go on through and try to penetrate the defense that England has placed up, and they need to respond immediately. Hard, very hard knock on, very hard knock on right there. All right, thank you. Scrum advantage, England Royals. Andrew Boyce with the ball, trying to spread out the ball out to the width of the pitch. Matt Turner gets the ball straight up and sees oh. a gap, spots it, and scores his second try of the game. Second try for Matt Turner, very simple, very easy. Went well there by the, I mean by the Royals, and uh, homeboys once again being punished. When you have a player such as Matt Turner playing on the other side of the pitch, you do not actually try and give him anything more than five yards. Yeah, absolutely. And look at the running line of Matt Turner, by the way. It was a well calculated ball, ran into space, no defender, and boom. Second try for Matt Turner, second try for the England Royals. They lead by 10 points, by 12 to nil now. And the homeboys have a lot of work through them, a mountain to climb in this game. And after losing their first game right now, I don't know what homeboys are going to be thinking of. 
Matt Turner did actually play age grade rugby for the Western Province. Um, he was actually born in Cape Town and only just recently uh, moved into England and got a call up there, but he did play age grade for the Western Province. Another poor kick from the England from the kickoff on the full and an opportunity for homeboys to strike back in this game, get some points on the board and be competitive in this encounter. Homeboys are basically chancing up and about and the England Royal team seems to have actually understood exactly what they're made of. They're literally making it very, very hard for them. The past two minutes have particularly been very hard for homeboys. Absolutely. I mean, uh, they seem not to, I mean, homeboys seem to have no clue on how to attack this England team. Uh, the misplaced passes, the, the, the ball is being lost in contact and homeboys really have to steady the ship and get something going or it could be a very long day for them. Rob Vickerman, the scrum with the skull cap, He's played for England yeah, since 2000. Stanley Lunani breaks it for boys, but passed a bit too early. I think he actually had the try line begging for him to come up through and score. Yeah, absolutely. The ball comes out again. Homeboys need to actually exercise a bit of patience. Referee not too happy with that. Calls back up for a penalty advantage and homeboys back up on the rampage. Oh yeah, homeboys are gaining yards clearly. here. They're playing now with a bit of intent, with a bit of width. With a bit of width, but once again, uh, the England Royals are being penalised for not being uh, 10. And the homeboys have an opportunity here to go into the halftime interval with at least some points on the board. A try perhaps will do them wonders of good. They need a quick ball out to be able to go through and try and work the England defence, who have been very disciplined so far in this match. Some of the bounce of the ball works well for homeboys. Still retain possession. Quick crack out. Runner moving on a Stanley Lunani. Manages to actually drive in two defenders. They need to get a quick ball out. The referee not too happy with that. There's been three infringements in a row. And England need to be very careful. There's a man out there. And finally. Finally gets a point to the bottom. Bring a play from them. Excellent try there. The long pass. Opening up the England defence and homeboys finally get score their first try of the Safari Cup Sevens 2013 here at the Moy International Sports Centre and they are very much back into this game. I think England need to be wary of the fact that homeboys actually have a lot of pace out in the wings. Absolutely. After, after playing three or four racks, England got drawn in and anytime you're playing against a team that actually has athleticism out in there, be very careful and choose your racks. Choose your racks, yes. That's a lesson. That's a lesson for them, yes, absolutely. It's a lesson for them. And now the conversion. My homeboys. And it's in. Beautiful conversion. And it's twelve and it's twelve points to seven. Between homeboys and the England Royals. And it's half time right now. Homeboys really have to make it count within the first few minutes of the second half. Twelve points to seven. England Royals get into the halftime break with the advantage, but homeboys look like they have sniffed a bit of blood and they're out for the kill. Yeah, It'll be interesting to see what uh, their coach Paul Morunga will tell them at halftime. Yeah, homeboys have their tails up now, right? They need to now build on that in the second half and try and get a victory in this game. Welcome back to the second half of uh, Homeboys versus uh, England, England Royals. It's a group, um, group 
Kindi from the encounter. And homeboys kick us off for the second half. And they need to get another score to tie, to beat Contessa, to tie this game. The England Royals now. James Rodil quickly picking up the ball and moving to Andrew Boyce, who with a blistering turn of face, places up England Royals to put in the first score of the second half. How about that for response? Homeboys were still thinking of their exploit in the first half and they were caught up in their loss of, I mean, laps of concentration and the England Royals looking sharper and quicker in the second half. Look at that turn of pace and speed and the searing run and the homeboys defence couldn't get a hold of him. And that try is advantage England Royals. Now they extend the lead to 17-7 with the conversion to come. Perhaps a case of the ghosts from the first game against Kenya Harlequins coming to haunt them, where they thought they'd actually won the game and left Kenya Harlequins to get back in right at the buzz of the game, yes. drawing 12-12 to finish Abs the game in a draw. Absolutely, they needed to. I mean, it was a it was a wake-up call for the England Royals, and they're not taking any chances right now. Remember, either of these sides have to win this game if they are to have any chances of qualifying for the quarterfinals slated for tomorrow here at the Moi International Sports Centre, Kasarani. England opting for a deep kick. James Rodwell picks it up. Rob Bickerman quickly recycles the ball, and all of a sudden, Matt Chana has the ball in his hands. Oh, that, that looked like a pass forward forward to pass. me. The referee agrees with us. The referee has pass. seen it, and yeah. uh, Matt Turner with the forward pass. One was just to study themselves a bit and just bring that play they brought towards the end of the first half. The referee giving himself a break to tie his laces. Yes. And he's back up now. And the referee of the day is Constant Cup. It's a match referee for this game between the England Royals and Homeboys. The referee did not like the feed into the ball. The RB are taking a very, very uh, positive stance on trying to ensure there's equity on the scrum situation. The one yeah. thing that the place has zero tolerance approach on is the put in at scrum time. Yeah, yeah. It, has to, it has to be the straight. Referees are oh, to Rob Vickerman, Rob Vickerman. On the double step. Scores right at the centre. Oh, scores right at the centre, and uh, it's looking to be an uphill task for Homeboys right now. Oh, uh, England Royals extend the lead to 22 points to seven, and uh, we still have another five more minutes to go in this game. I think it might be a case of a bit too much to ask for Homeboys to come back and win this game. Absolutely. It all depends on how they'll react from the subsequent kickoff because England Royals seem to have actually sniffed blood. Yes, they've sniffed blood here, and they're looking so dangerous. Whenever they break forward well, with ball in hand. Matt Turner yeah. taking his time before he does the kick. Kick goes on through, extend the lead to 24 points, 24 to, seven. points to seven. And you saw from the kickoff, from, from the last kickoff, James Rodwell winning the ball for the for the Royals. The nice tap in mid air. But the speed with which the ball was being passed right across the line of play is the one that is quite fascinating. Yes. In a span of about four seconds, the ball had already gone to the fifth, sixth person, right? Absolutely. And Stanley boys. Lunani breaks through Matt Turner's tackle. Matt Turner does enough to put off Stanley Lunani. And Marco De Jobi steals the ball. Well, De Jobi plays the ball on the ground. I would have actually called that yeah, uh, the ball, the ball, on, the the ball yes. on the ground. Yes. And the referee needs to be very wary of those uh, tactics. Very telling call right in there. Homeboys still press on in. England have an extra man out wide who doesn't look like he has any tracking. And is that man James Rodwell, the most capped forward in England 7's history. So they make a meal out of it and they have to start up again. Matt Turner with the ball. Steps on the side. Tries to literally get in Marco Dejobi. Or Dejobi brushes off the first defender. Passes the ball on to. Uh, Dejobi is there to pick up but does not quite get it. And Homeboys manage to get that one. Advantage homeboys. Advantage homeboys, but they're deep in their own half, and, and any error here is going to be punished by the England Royals. They need to keep the ball in hand well, use space, uh, and, uh, lost the, the ball there. Pass by was way. a bit um, desperate. Desperate, a desperate pass, a hallelujah pass, and uh, it's going to be a strong beat for the England Royals, and they already look to have one foot uh, into, okay, not one foot, but they seem to have wrapped up this game, by the way. It's 24 points to seven with a couple of minutes remaining. The England Royals really needed to score some points and win this game because having drawn to Kenya Harlequins and the expectation of playing um, a very, very uh, green and fancy Grenoble team 
the last game of the tournament, or rather the last game of the day today, yeah. they need to actually ensure they can chalk up win because Grenoble have also played very well yes. and have shown the fact that they have the quality that had been expected of them. Having won uh, against Homeboys 37 points to zero. Yes. And the Royals are still attacking, uh, but the referee has called the ball back for an infringement he had seen there earlier. What can get Homeboys ten, do? We are, homeboys are left with just a minute and 45 seconds to grab something out of this game. More of a consolation. Not to England Royals giving up so many tries to us. And then once again, the tackler not being released and constant comes in. It's going to be an England ball. And look at that. And look at that. Quick tap. And a try. And a try. That's the position. 29 7 for the England Royals. And the home boys energy run has been sucked out of it. They seem clueless and to be out of sync. What is going on? Searing pace was enough to put off the defense by homeboys who were more than happy to basically escort him into the drive this area. 29 points to 7 for England Royals. Matt Turner setting himself up for the conversion. Extreme right edge of the pitch. Looks like he's waiting for a go ahead from the referee. Finally gets it. This is the conversion. I have actually seen Matt Turner hitting on all those conversions from the most acute of angles on the pitch. Yeah, in the NBC series, yes. He's been hitting these conversions, but that he missed. And uh, looks like Ombos will be relegated to the shield category, or the, or the bold category. The kickoff is good. He's not happy with an infringement there, so it's going to be a big long ball. I think it was a knock on from the from homeboys RFC. England Royals leading by 29 points to seven. With this is actually the the last passage of play, the last kick of the game, the last kick of the game. It is quite commendable that homeboys can manage to play at this level, um, especially out of the fact that the club was only founded barely four years ago. It's a good, it's a good uh, adventure for homeboys, by the way. They're showing their metal, but I think this is a, bit, a step too far for them. And the England Royals score another try. That'll take the score with 34 points to 7. England Royals not taking any prisoners this time around. Outright winners in this match against homeboys, scoring their fifth try of the match. Sixth try of the match. Extending their lead to 30. 35 points, is it to 7? 36 points to... 36 to 7? Yes. With the conversion. Final score, England Royals 36, Homeboy 7. England Royals chalk up their first win in Pool D. And uh, they wait to play Grenoble in the last match of the day to see who actually qualifies for the main cup quarterfinals. Yes. Next up after this.